Hello, everybody. Welcome to What Culture Gaming. I'm Scott. I'm joined by Josh. Hi, Scott. Hello. Uh, the new Tomb Raider just got announced. It did. And it's it was the announcement for another future announcement. It was an announcement for an announcement. Yes, which they've done before, and that was the thing that annoyed me. So before we get stuck in, it's going to be called Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yes, it is. And the full reveal is coming next month, April the 7th? April 27th. 27th. Yes. And the release date's going to be September the 14th. Correct. Right. Um, All but, out in a year. But this, though, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a title that initially got rumoured last year. Um, I actually did a video on this uh, unannounced games that we can confirm kind of thing if you look back in our backlog uh, at the start of the year because <laughs> Crystal Dynamics put out a tweet yep. uh, describing that they were gonna it was that that was their teaser for the announcement but the first letter of each sentence added up to the word shadow which corroborated with last year a leaked screenshot from a guy from a laptop that said shadow of the Tomb Raider basically we've known this was coming for a while so for them to just be like yeah, you're right. And even then, come back in a month. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Not enough. I mean, technically, this is the second announcement for an announcement, which is very strange. Which was and based on an announcement for an announcement. Exactly, exactly. But it's strange, man. Tomb Raider's on the back foot right now. In that this isn't what I'd like to see them. I, would, I want them to be confident. I want them to come out and be like, here's the gameplay. It's out. <laughs> We're going to do this. I'll tell you what made me excited. What made the you one excited? and only thing that made me excited was that in the very last shot of the teaser, it shows her looking over at like a big Aztec temple. And if you look at what she's wearing, she's got some fingerless gloves and she's got some cargo shorts and she's got like a black tank top. Yeah. Now that is a little bit more in line with the old school Lara. And I'm not saying I want to go and get some massive 36 double D boob job, but I do think that it would be cool to have a little bit more of that crofty attitude yeah. in there. Um, because well, at some point they need to pivot back into that stuff. Well, that's what this is the finale of the origin story. I don't know why it takes three um, games to make an origin story, but this is the finale you said in the yes. little source code that was leaked yesterday. So this could be the Lara Croft we all know and love. True, uh, and that's that's kind of the thing. They've been doing this whole prequel trilogy for a while. I, I mean, they have done a really good job. I mean, Rihanna Pratchett started off with the 2013 one, which is also the game that the new movie's based on. Um, so this is kind of the perfect time to sort of do all things Tomb Raider related. Um, I just think, I don't know, I didn't actually finish Rise. I love the 2013 one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get all the way through Rise, but uh, they are really, really good games. Um, I don't know, like, it doesn't have the same feel that it once did. I know did. what you mean. Yeah, it doesn't have the same feel, but I think that's more to do with the marketing and business mistakes that have been made in the past because the games themselves have been so stellar. Mm. I prefer the 2013 reboot over its sequel, but even the sequel was so good and built yeah. upon you know, that sort of semi-open world, uncharted shtick. And we don't have a cross-platform Uncharted. And I'm not being um, derogatory towards uh, oh, Uncharted yeah, by saying it's like, uh, it's not a rip-off, it's just very similar in the same vein. Two it does it similar. really well. Well, that was actually, that was a weird thing because the 2013 reboot very much aped Uncharted. And then when Uncharted 4 came around and we started getting these open world segments, they're very much what Rise of the Tomb Raider did. Um, obviously, the length of time that those games were developed, it doesn't really mean that Naughty Dog ripped anybody off. But at the same time, it seems like they're taking those mechanics and applying them to much bigger environments, which is what a lot of people remember from the old school Tomb Raiders. Sometimes when you would walk into a, you know, a tomb, funnily enough, it would be it would just stretch out way into the, into the sky or whatever, and you would have to then figure out how am I going to clamber around all this stuff. And that was kind of the joy of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of hope they go back to that. The 2013 one barely had any tombs. Rise of the Tomb Raider put them back in, but there was still a big focus on combat and you yes. know, cover shooting and that kind of thing. So with Shadow of the Tomb Raider's teaser ending on, here's a whopping great f***ing tomb. What then... if it's like a giant Metroidvania-style tomb, Scott, and you get to go in it and explore it? I want that. I mean, I like Metroid a lot. I mean, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, sure. that's just my wish list. Give her, right give her a hook shot while you're on and maybe like a like a spade blade. Because mm. that's, if you're going to do the thing that I want, right. just make everything like Shovel Knight. <laughs> and then I'll like it more. This is not Shovel Knight. It's better than Shovel Knight. Another thing worth pointing out is that this is actually launching multi-platform. Um, whereas Rise of the Tomb Raider, Xbox secured the uh, timed exclusivity for a bit. Uh, this is coming to PS4, Xbox One, not Switch, not Switch, and PC. Um, not which surprisingly, is though, not. No, no. I mean, yeah, it's it's one of the it's always been one of those big blockbuster AAA kind of franchises. So yeah, which kind of means that it's going to be the first time that a, a giant multi-platform Tomb Raider has launched since 2013. Yeah. And um, potentially they've got the buzz coming from the movie. Although the, re re the reception of the movie seems to be quite mixed. Done it again. Better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to call anybody out, but a certain a certain website gave it five stars. Now, maybe that's... We're going to see it tonight, and yeah, we'll, have, yeah. we'll have a follow-up video once we have some opinions. But, I mean, whatever. Maybe there's Could a be. lot... Yeah, maybe there's a bit of a bit of love to mine in Tomb Raider, which can carry forward into the game's release. Hope so. Either way, the new game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, will be with you in September. And these are have been our thoughts. I've been Scott from Oculture.com. I've been Josh from Oculture.com. And we'll catch you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 
Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Aren't you a star? Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe below. And also, there's probably more content flowing up above my head, so why not check that out as well? Could be a laugh. Probably. Six out of ten. Thank you.